You've, you've just given a presentation during an open day, and your presentation was on redundant control systems. Correct. Could you describe what a redundant control system is? Yes, of course. Uh, redundancy is, uh, let's say, a common thing in process industry these days. Um, but to have some advanced redundancy, you need to build a system around it. And the uh, redundant control system is the system that uh, is having that. Because you can put two valves in redundancy, two valves in series, very good for safety, or two valves in parallel, which is good for reliability. Well, the redundant control system has it all. It is also mounted some pressure switches, so you can uh, uh, also do the diagnostics. Um, that means the most common uh, configuration that is used is what we call the one out of one hot standby mode. That means if you have a failure, in this case of a solenoid valve, the second valve automatically will take over within a few milliseconds without interrupting the signal to the process valve. So that means uh, with this system you have the safety of a single solenoid valve but the reliability of uh, two valves parallel. So advantages for both uh, systems. Redundancy, is that a concept that end users are already aware of or is it something you're having to, to train them about? No, they're already aware of, of the redundancy because it will increase uh, your safety and also increase uh, uh, the sale level you can, can reach. Um, it's common to do that, but to do the diagnostics around it and have the possibility uh, 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 to change solenoid valves or to test solenoid valves without interrupting uh, uh, the air to the process valve, that's not so common. So that's quite new uh, uh, on the market and uh, this, this system was developed at, at ASCO uh, United States. But since uh, last year we also have the ATAC certification on it, so we're now trying to promote this in Europe as well.